Holy Spirit, I pray that you would send us help in this season, that you would send us discernment in this season for those that feel discontented, for those that feel lost, for those that feel like they don't know what to do, they don't know where to go. We pray, God, that you now would send ministering angels to encourage them. I want to take a moment and pray for those that have lost loved ones in this season, that have lost loved ones in this hour, and that are constantly being bombarded with different posts and images and text messages that such and such is gone and such and such is gone and, and this has happened and this has transpired. And Holy Spirit, you are our keeper. You are the giver of peace. And I pray that you'll give our minds peace. Father, help us to resolve the things that we cannot resolve in our own strength. Help us to resolve the things that we cannot resolve in our own power. And so, Lord, we're just trusting in you, and we're saying you are our Abba Father. You are our Holy One of Israel. You wrap your loving arms around us. In John chapter number 14, you said that you would send us a comforter, and we will not be comfortless, and you would send us help. And this help is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will enwrap itself around us, and it will encourage us and it will inspire us to keep going and Lord even if we have tears in our eyes because we're grieving and, and it seems like once we get over one thing there's another thing help us God to continue to endure help us to be strong in this season a season that shakes the soul a season that shakes the emotions of even the strongest soldier I pray God that those that are mourning right now that don't even have the words to articulate, that don't even know how to express how they feel at this moment, that don't even have words to pen out on paper, that you would have mercy upon them. You would send them help. You would send them rest. You would send them peace. You would give them grace for this season. You would give them strength for this season. Father, help us not to act like we're strong and forsake being human. Help us to be human, God. Help us to be human. Help us to know our humanity can be real and you have been felt by the infirmities that we have. So God, we give you our emotions. We give you how we feel. We give you our discomfort contentment. We give you the fact that we don't understand everything and you don't have to explain everything. But God, we're asking you to have mercy upon your children, to show compassion upon your seed. And so, Lord, even those that are watching online, that are broadcasting this service with us, that are sharing it with us, that, God, you would touch them even in this moment, that as they go through their timeline, they're seeing friends that they knew, they're seeing family that they knew, and they're separated by people that they loved and cared for, that have been stripped away from them, that have been torn away from them, that they did not get to say their goodbyes, that have to jot out their final farewells online because they did not have the opportunity to say it face to face. Would you have mercy upon them, Holy Spirit? Would you encourage their heart? Would you mend the brokenhearted? You are so near to the broken. You are so near to the brokenhearted. And when everybody moves on and when life keeps on going and when stores keep on opening and the world keeps on revolving, you still have compassion on us who are still stuck at the graves of our loved ones, who are still trying to process those that we care deeply for. You have not walked away from us. You have not left us to ourselves. And so, Lord, I pray that you would send the help. I pray that you would send the peace. I pray that you would send healing arms. I pray that you would send healing arms. I pray that you would send healing arms. I pray that you'll send healing arms. So, Father, heal us in this season. Heal us in this season. For that dumb person that doesn't even know they need healing, would you heal them in this season? Would you lift your hands and say, Father, heal me in this season? It's not about watching me pray. It's about all of us praying together. Father, heal me in this season. Come on, say it with your authority. Father, heal me in this season. Father, touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Touch me from the crown of my head. Touch every area, every part I've exposed, every part I have 
haven't shared. Reap me from the sins of depression. Take me from the bowels of darkness. Take me from the infirmity of being in Lodabar, feeling less than. Help me, God, to be able to overcome these circumstances and emotions that some days are good and some days are bad and some days are up and some days are down and some days are crying and some days are smiling. Father, we're asking you to show yourself real. Father, let us not walk through the valley alone as you promised in your word. Yea, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thy rod and thy staff. They do comfort me. They are there with me. They are surrounding me. Let us feel the heavens rejoicing with us. Let us feel angels surrounding us. Let us feel angels encamping round about us. Let us feel the warmth of your embrace. Let us feel that you are with us. Chop, oh, watch over our children who are dealing with a new season they've never seen before. Classes being canceled because of variants and being able to be quarantined and not being able to understand it all. Father, we don't know the effects that it may have on our children, but God, we're asking you. You are the one who has seen this time and time again. We're asking you to have mercy. We're asking you to help our young ones process properly all that they're seeing, all that they're hearing, and they may not be able to articulate the sentiments of their pain or the sentiments of their fear, but us who are intercessors, gap standers, you said if I can find one that would stand in the gap, you would have mercy. Well, there's several of us tonight that decided to come off of work, that decided to drive to church, that decided to tune in online and are asking, Lord, we're asking for prayer for our city, we're asking prayer for our nation, we're asking prayer for countries that have been affected even in this season, even in the season that we are in right now as we look at Afghanistan, as we look at Haiti, and as we ask that you would have mercy even upon the island, that they would not send rain to take them out. You would allow mercy to come upon them as people are being buried in rubble. You would have mercy. We prayed long. We prayed hard. We asked that your angels would stand and rescue your children. Send the aid. And we pray against every attack of the enemy that would try to usurp its authority in the minds of your children come against schemers and robbers that will take advantage of tragedy to profit off of people's pain. We ask you now, God, that you would stand in the gap and you would fight against wickedness and lawlessness and all the things that are circum that are happening in this earth realm. And Father, there are many things we don't know to pray. We don't understand. We don't know what's going on, but we're living in it. And we're asking you, enlighten our eyes, open up our ears to hear, open up our hearts to receive, open up our understanding give us deeper understanding of where we are as people Lord and cause our hearts to be united father we've seen division long enough we've seen it in color we've seen it in race we've seen it in every facet and we're asking God that you would come and give us peace that you would come and give us peace help us not to forget that you are the God of peace you are the God of grace you are the God of healing everything that we need is not in our intellect but it is in you that we live, move, and have our being. And so, Father, we give over to you those that are in this season financially, that are destitute, that have lost resources, that have lost income, and don't know where to go, don't know where to stay, but are asking you to send resources. We're asking you, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that provides, the Lord that looks after his own, to step in and send and finances from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We're asking the Lord who has all of the resources, the cattle upon a thousand hills. You earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We're asking you to send resources now. And we touch and agree with the persons online that you would send resources. And Father, I pray and agree with their faith. I pray that as they tag people, as they type names in that need financial 
financial breakthroughs, that, Father, you would open up opportunities. I pray for every person in that comment section that's tagging and typing someone that needs prayer from emotional circumstances to financial circumstances to those that have relatives in islands and those that have relatives in the military. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over their life. We plead the blood of Jesus over their home. And God, for those that are struggling in their housing situation, would you, would you have mercy upon them? Would you send them individuals of influence that can help them navigate this season? Give them the resources they need for their mortgage. Give them the resources they need for their rent. Give them the resources they need for their electric bill. Give them the resources they need for their water. Give them the resources they need for their groceries. Father, I pray that you would give them witty inventions, creative ideas on how to prosper in this season. Help them to prosper prosper in this season. Help them to prosper even in the famine. You are a good God. Somebody tell him he's a good God. Somebody declare he's a good God. I don't care what your circumstances look like. I said he's a good God. I don't care what your season you're in. He's a good God. You got to declare those things which are not. He's a good father. Put that in your chat. Put it all over the social airwaves. He's a good father. He is a good father. He is caring after his own. He will not leave me as an orphan. He will not leave me abandoned on the road. He will not leave me astray. He will not leave me as if I am an orphan in this world, but he will watch over me. He has numbered the hairs upon my head. He has ordered my steps according to his word. He has prepared and prepared my life for this moment. He has kept me alive because he has a plan for my life. You got to speak back over your life the things that God has said over your life. I shall live and declare the things that God has over my life. I don't care what season you are in. I don't care what setback you're in. You are a child of the Most High God. You were created in the image of God. The reason why that didn't take you out is because God has a plan for your life. The reason why you're not six feet under is because God has a purpose for your life. Father, organize and order our steps. Order our starts and our stops. Father, let us not go too far to the left, too far to the right. We cover our children now. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. We pray again every sickness, viral disease that will try to stand against them now. As they go to school, we cover them now. We're asking God, give the scientists wisdom. Give the medical professionals wisdom that God, they will be able to operate in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children that are walking to school, that are riding the bus to school, that are wearing masks, that are not wearing masks. Whatever the case is, God, you are a protector and a defender. And we pray you'll defend them against germs. You'll defend them against this virus. You'll defend them against this sickness. And those that are in the hospital now, those nurses and doctors that are overwhelmed and overworked, that Holy Spirit, you would send them wisdom. You would give them a brush of fresh air. And I pray now for every nurse. I pray you tag every nurse, every RN, every LPN, every CNA, every doctor. We pray you don't lose patience. We pray that you don't lose hope. We we pray that you speak life over every circumstance, every patient. Give them the wisdom of God that can only come from you. Give them the strength to endure another shift, another workload. I pray, Holy Spirit, for ORMC, Advent Health, all of the hospitals, Winter Park. I pray, God, for those that are in ICU, that you would send healing now in the name of Jesus. For those that are by themselves, isolated in the room, pneumonia filling their lungs. I pray you'll reverse it in the name of Jesus. I pray you'll reverse it in the name of Jesus. Let it be reported all over that a church came and prayed and we saw numbers go down. A church came and prayed and we saw things go backwards. A church came and prayed and we saw things go backwards. Father, what we cannot do in the natural, we're asking for you to do in the supernatural. So we give you these three days. Do it for us in the name of Jesus. Come on, take 60 seconds and feel this atmosphere. Come on, don't just watch Intercede with us online. Not just text Intercede with us online. 
Worship with us online. Glorify God in your home. Bring them in your office. Bring them in your cubicle. Bring them in your bedroom. Bring them in your master bedroom. Wherever you are, we're asking you to bring them in the name of Jesus. Bring the Holy Spirit into this space and in this sacred space. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, church. Worship him. You got your mask on. Worship him. You got it. Come on. Worship him. With the fruit of your lips. 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 We want more of you. We want more of you. We want more of you. Come on, we want more. We want more of you. Come on, if you want more. We want more of yes, you. Yes, if you want more. We want more of you. We want more of you. We want more of you. Less of us. We want more of you. We want more of you. We want more of you. Less of us and more of you. We want more of you. Less of us. 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 We want more of you. More peace. We want more of you. More joy. We want more of you. More grace. We want more of you. More favor. We want more of you. More increase. We want more of you. More life. We want more of you. We want more. We want more of you. We need you more. Long for more. We need you more. We long for more. We're longing for more of you. Lord. We're longing for more of you. More of your spirit, we need more. More of your patience, we need more. Come on, more of your love, we need more. More of your grace, we need more, more of your peace, we need more, more of you, we need more, we need more, we need more, more of you, more of you, more of you, more of you, more of your spirit, more of your grace. Come on, type that in, more of your spirit, more of your grace. More of your grace, it's what we need. More of your spirit. More of your spirit. More of your grace. More of your grace. We draw from you. More of your spirit. More of your grace. More of your grace. We draw it from you. Your spirit, more of your grace, 
say more of your grace. More of your grace. Say more of your spirit. More of your spirit. And more of your grace. More of your grace. We don't need more money. We need more of your more spirit. More of your spirit. We need more. More of your grace. More grace for our careers. Grace for our call of your spirit. Grace for our lives. More of your grace. More of your spirit. More of your grace. More of your grace. Come on, more of your spirit. More of your spirit. More of your spirit. Can we just focus on the spirit? We need more of your spirit. More of your spirit. We need more of your spirit. More of your grace. Can you lift your hands and say more of your spirit? More of your spirit. Right where you are at your home. More of your spirit. More of your grace. We need more of your spirit. That's going to help us. More of your spirit. That's what's going to make us survive. More of your spirit. More of your grace. We need more of it. We need more of it. More of your spirit. We need more of it. More of your grace. We need more. We need more of it. More of your spirit. Come on, everyone in this sanctuary. More of your grace. Would you just do me the favor? Wave your hands before the Lord. I need more of your spirit. I need more of your spirit. More of your grace. I need more of your spirit. More of your spirit. I'm trying it on my own. I need more of you. More of your grace. I need more of you. I need more of you. More of your spirit. I need more of you. More of your grace. We come against everything that would come against more of your grace. my relationship with you. I need more, more of, your of your spirit. I need more of your spirit. I need more of your spirit. More of your grace. I need more of your spirit. 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 That's the Holy Spirit. I need more of your 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 spirit. I need more. There's so many things trying to keep you from getting more of God's spirit. I lift my hands and declare, I need more of your spirit. I need more of your spirit. I need it on Monday. I need it on Tuesday. I need it on Wednesday. I need it on Thursday. I need it on Friday. I need it on Saturday. I need it on Sunday. I need more of your spirit. I need it. personal I, need more of your spirit. I can't lead anybody until I lead myself I need more of your spirit. you can't lead anybody till you lead yourself I need more I need more I need more I gotta have 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 more gotta have more I gotta have more I gotta have more I gotta have more I gotta have more would you type that I gotta have more 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 even if you don't know what to pray I gotta have more I gotta have more I gotta have more I gotta have more
God, I have more. God, I have more. Father, we give you ourselves. Empty vessels, we got to have more. We are empty vessels, we got to have more. We are empty vessels, we got to have more. We are empty vessels, we got to have more. We're created for more. We're created for more. We're created for more. We're created for more. Our cups are open, give us more. We don't want religion. We don't want two songs of worship, a message to go home. We want more. We want more. I need 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 more. I've stopped my I schedule. I blocked off some time because I need more. I've stopped what I was doing online to tell you I need more. I've stopped my career choice in this moment and dedicated an hour of time to tell you I need more. I stopped eating during this hour to tell you I need more. I didn't go work out to tell you I need more. I didn't go ride my bike to tell you I need more. I didn't go read a book because I need to tell you I need more. I didn't sit at home because I need to tell you I need more. If I'm at home, I'm logged in because I need more. I realize I cannot make it on my own. I realize I cannot do this on my own. I don't have the strength to do it. I don't have the wisdom to do it. All I got to tell you, Lord, is I need more. Every day I wake up, I need more. Every day we live, we need more. And so we're asking for more. Would you pour yourself out strong? Would you send your healing balm of Gilead? The people of Haiti need more. The people of Afghanistan need more. The people of Florida need more. The people of Orlando need more. Our houses need more. Our schools need more. Our children need more. We need more of you. We desire more of you. We long for more of you. Fill us up in this moment. Fill us up at TKC. Fill us up online. Fill us up all around the world that's tuned in with us. We pray for more in the name of Jesus. We ask you for more. 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 Come on, he's in this place. Would you just begin to open your mouth and worship him? Fill it with worship. Not what you're thinking, but what you say. God processes what you say. Not what you think. God processes what you say. You got to say something. Let, them, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Would you just take some time, open up your mouth, cry out to God in your own way. Bless him with the fruit of your lips. Tell him how much you need him. There's a sound that proceeds. There's a sound that proceeds. There's a sound that proceeds 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 I'm gonna help you my neighbor I'm gonna help you my brother I'm gonna help you my sister I'm going to lift a sound on your behalf there's a sound there is a sound that God responds to the cries of his children we worship you we glorify you we magnify you we adore you we give you praise, 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 you're catching it, we give you praise, yeah, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you adoration from the clapping of our hands to the lifting of our voice, from the clapping of our hands to the lifting of our voice, from the clapping of our hands to the lifting of our voice, to the lifting of our hands, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Come on, open up, let it be a sound. Let them hear it online. Let them hear the sanctuary. Let them hear the sanctuary. Let them hear the sanctuary. Come on, church, let them hear the sanctuary. Let them hear the sanctuary. Don't let the mass muzzle you. Let the words of your lips be heard in this place. Let it be heard in this place. Let it be heard in this place. Don't grow weary in well-doing. Don't grow weary in well-doing. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray fervently, 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 fervently. fervently.
fervently, fervently, fervently. The righteous man of hell is much in pain. Repent of any sin that would stop you from being glorified. We repent of any sin that would stop you from being magnified. We repent of any iniquity that would stop you from being magnified. We repent as a land. We repent as a people. We repent as a people. We repent as a people. We say, Lord, have mercy upon us. For our sins be great. Would you blot them out as, as far as the sea is, as far as the east is from the west. So, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would sit among us. And I'm going to pray in this next moment that you would feel it. It's not a feeling, but you would get a confirmation that God is with you, that God would send you what you need for the next season of your journey. We're not gonna pray and ask for it, we're just gonna pray that God sends it. But it requires you and I to partner in faith together whether you're at home just because you're not in the sanctuary, we still want you to lift your voice. We still want you to interact with us in chats and send up prayer emojis, fire emojis. We want you to begin to lift it up. And, and in the sanctuary, we want you to follow the instructions. If you follow the instructions, we'll go to the same place. If we're all on one accord, somebody say one accord. That's not one accord. I said if everybody say one accord. That means everybody doing the same thing. Somebody say one accord. 
Let's say it like we got some life. Type it in the comment box. Say one accord. So we're going to get digital space and in-house all on one accord. Somebody say one accord. <laughs> Listen, they were louder than that at the little baby concert. Somebody say one accord. There we go. I'm asking you, everybody, type it in the comment section. One accord, one accord, one accord. We're going to get on one accord. We're going to get on one accord. And we're going we're gonna to pray this last time that God would send what we need. It's not even going to be a prayer that we're praying that we're going to use words. We're just going to tell God how amazing he is. And if we tell God how amazing he is, he will meet whatever need that we have. But it can't be done by you just thinking it in your head. Because a lot of times we pray thinking in our heads. We just pray thinking in our heads and we think that's sufficient. And in some circumstances it may be, but that's not what God wants. God wants to hear from you. You got a lot of thoughts in your mind. That's great, but God wants to hear from you. There's something when we release our sound to God. We don't just need to keep it in our head. We need to open up our mouths and say it. How many understand what I'm saying? Somebody say one accord. Can you imagine all of us telling God how much we love him on one accord? Can you imagine how much all of us telling God how much we appreciate him? And you might be sitting there saying, I don't know what to say. I'm going to help you with that. You're either just going to give him an adjective. I love you. I don't know if that's an adjective or an adverb. You're going to tell him you're lovely. You're beautiful. You're majestic. You are keeping me whatever way. You are protecting me. You are providing for me. You are keeping me alive. If you don't know what to say because you're not as articulate, just say you're my ride or die. You're riding with me till the wheels fall off. But we need to hear you say something. We just can't let's watch us pray. You got to join in with us. You that are online, you're not exempt from it. I'm believing that God will send you exactly what you need for the season that you need. That God will send you the right person that will show you what you need. And some of what we need is not someone to take us to the next level. We need someone to show us where we're short. Someone to show us where we're prideful. Someone to show us where we're egoistic stick so that we can grow and become better and be better Christians and better people one accord but we're going to pray that God would give us more of his spirit because if we get more of his spirit everything else follows peace follows joy follows someone say I receive that peace follows say I receive that joy follows say I receive that Grace follows, say I receive that. Protection follows, say I receive that. No, you gotta receive that. I receive increase, say I receive that. Nah, baby, you gotta pull it down prophetically. I receive that. I receive health. I, I receive that. I receive peace in my mind. I receive that. I receive good night's rest. I receive that. I receive protection over my children. I receive that. I receive not wasting my time, not wasting my season, not wasting my seat. I receive that. I receive being in my right mind. I receive being kept by God. I receive that in the name of Jesus. No premature death coming by my house. I receive that. No car accident will take me out before my time. I receive that. No sickness and disease. No incantation. No spell. No war. No, nothing shall befall the children of the Most High God. I receive that for my life. I receive increase. I receive the promises of God. I receive your yay and amen. I receive the open door. I receive you making crooked paths straight. I receive Receive it in the name of Jesus. Woo! Shama nevo siya nevo siya. I receive it in the name of the Lord. Good people are thinking of me. I receive it in the name of Jesus. My enemies are scattering 10,000 ways. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Favor is upon my life. I receive it in the name of Jesus. My name is being put on the heart of someone who has the power to change my season. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Woo! feel that somebody say I receive it Woo, I receive it I receive it I receive it I receive it I'm coming out of depression I'm coming out of Lodabar 
I'm coming out of feeling gloomy. I'm coming out of feeling emotional. I'm coming out of feeling up and down. I'm coming out of feeling insecure. I'm coming out of feeling like I don't know where to go. I'm coming out of whatever circumstance I've been bound in. I'm coming out of this holding pattern. I'm going where God wants me to go. I'm going to pursue everything God wants me to pursue. I'm going to do it with boldness. I'm going to do it without reservation. I receive it. Come on, lift your hands. Let's do it now. One accord, everybody. Everybody wave before the Lord. Everybody wave before the Lord. It's called a wave offering. 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 It's called, oh yeah, it's beautiful all over online. It's called a wave offering. We're giving you a wave offering. Now on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to keep waving your arms. It's a wave offering. It's a wave offering. It's a wave offering. God, when I don't have nothing to give you, I give you an offering. When I don't have the words to say, I give you an offering. When I don't have any money to give you, I give you an offering. When I don't have a worship to give, I give you an offering. When I don't have a song in my heart I give you an offering when I don't know what to pray I give you an offering when I ran out of the words I give you an offering it's a wave offering it means you know what I'm in you know where I'm at you know what I need you know what I'm asking for it's a wave offering it's everything about me I'm asking you to defeat every insecurity I wave it before you every financial bill I wave it before you every dilemma I wave it before you I wave it before you now on the count of three, I want you to lift your voice virtually, digitally in the sanctuary. We're going to give God this last worship and we're going home. We got two more nights. I don't want to hold you all night. We're going to pray and give God a worship. We're going to give him what's due his name. We're going to give him what's due his name. You know when a bill is due, you got to pay it on the due date. It don't mean you pay it tomorrow. It don't mean you pay it next week. It means you pay it on the due date. And we gotta give God a due offering. It's due his name. And because it's due his name, I gotta give it to him now. I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow because tomorrow's not promising to me. I'm gonna give it to him now. I may not make it to prayer tomorrow, but while I'm here, I'm gonna give it to him now. I may not make it online tomorrow, but I'm gonna give it to him now because it's due his name now. I may not make it on Wednesday. I'm gonna give it to him now because it's due unto his name. Thank you, Lord. That's it. It's just simple. It's a thank you, Lord. It's a I receive it. It's a I worship you. On the count of three, it's just very simple. It comes from your heart. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're gracious. On the count of three, don't leave me by myself. Don't let the rocks cry out for you. The rocks will praise them if you don't. The rocks will praise them if you don't, neighbor. The rocks will praise them if you don't. I don't need a substitute for this. I can do this by myself. I don't need a substitute for this. I can do this by myself. I don't need a substitute for this. I can do this by myself. I don't need a substitute for this. I can do this by myself. On the count of three, y'all ready? One, two, three. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and tell them. Woo! Pour out your oil. Pour out your glory, pour out your power, we want more of you, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Healing Bomb of Gilead, we want more of you, we say you're awesome, we say you're amazing, we say you're mighty, we say you're powerful. We say you're glorious. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord, you're amazing, amazing. Somebody say amazing. Come on, type it, say amazing. Come on, y'all feel that, say amazing. I can't hear you, say amazing. I can't hear your church, say amazing. Come on, I said amazing. What type of God we serve? An amazing God. What type of God we serve? An amazing God. What type of God we serve? 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 I'm trying to get you to declare that to your problems. I'm trying to get you to declare that to your situation. You're an amazing God. What type of God do we serve? An amazing God. But my child is sick. He's still amazing. So we come against it in the name of Jesus. I'm praying and we're going home. I want to pray against the spirit of retaliation. Whenever you pray like this, Satan will send retaliation against you. He'll send things to try to discourage you from keeping on. We want to pray against the spirit of retaliation. Put that in the comments. We pray against the spirit of retaliation in the name of Jesus. I pray against the spirit of retaliation, not against my children, not against my family. We come against the spirit of retaliation. 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 No weapon formed against us shall prosper. 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 No weapon formed. We silence every voice of the wicked one. We silence every accuser of the brethren. We silence every accuser of the brethren in the name of Jesus. Every evil force, every principality, every prince and wickedness in high places, we silence you in the name of Jesus. You have no authority. You have no power. You have no strength over, our, over God's children, over God's people. We call them blessed. We call them anointed by God. We call them filled by the Spirit of God. We call them equipped by your anointing. We come against the spirit of retaliation in the name of Jesus. Keep us healthy, keep us strong till we return again and bring the fire tomorrow. Bring the fire tomorrow. Bring the fire tomorrow. Yeah, bring the fire tomorrow. Bring the fire tomorrow. Take us from glory to glory to glory to glory, from glory to glory to glory to glory. Bring the fire. We bring the fire, the fire of God tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. And I'm going to show you. His name is Jesus. Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Holy One of Israel, you are God, you are God, you are God, you are God. encourage you we, we're not we're, if, if you want I'm not going to tell you if you want listen every night we, we are displaying this online and we're doing what we need to do to make sure ministry is available to you if you feel led to so I encourage you to do so so you know how we normally do it we're not passing no buckets and stuff like that if you have to give that way you can just lay it on the altar but I, I just I'm asking if you would do that for us as we are continue in these next three days just 
give whatever God puts on your heart, whether it's 10, 20, 15, 30, I don't know, whatever it is, whether you're watching online, you can do that. Text 77977-TKCI, hit send, and then it should send you a link back on what you can give. I think they'll have it typed on the screen, 77977, in the message box, hit TKCI, hit send. If this is your first time doing it, it'll send you a link back. I need you all to join in with us, whether it's 15, whether it's 10, whatever, whatever God puts on your heart. Everybody do something. Everybody, everybody find a way to do something. Everybody find a way. While you're doing it, let's just keep worshiping God. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to do it with you. Let's all do something together. If you are one that has cash and you can just put it on the altar, our, our administrative team will get it to accounting. <clears throat> let's, let's do our part in the name of Jesus. Thank you online for joining in with us. Come on, everybody, whether you're watching this, wherever you are, thank you. Thank you, everybody. We worship you. We worship you. Father, let us have sweet rest. Let us come back tomorrow refreshed, ready to bring the fire. Ready to bring the fire, Father. Ready to bring the fire. Ready to bring the fire. In the name of Jesus. Our ministry team is going to keep playing. You're dismissed if you want to go. Our team is going to keep playing. For the next 10 minutes, they'll just keep playing.